Pay attention to this. Pay attention to this, please. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Because, uh, um, um, IPOB. Uh, there's information I want to pass now. One of my friends, Al Haji, he passed an information to me as I was talking with him this morning. Uh, he told me that we Igbos, IPOB, should rise up now. That Kuje prison, you see, these people attack was well planned by Nigeria government and also by the Fulani leaders. They are the ones that did it. The people that did this Kujie prison attack was the same Nigeria military security guiding Abuja, led by Fulani. They are the ones that played that game. And the reason why they played that game is to release all the terrorists in the prison there. Then another second plan attack now is to kill Namdekano. The young man no, said it. No, I was very no, shocked. No, he said, listen. No, 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 no. He have to tell me the truth. They are planning to attack DSS facility. And who are those people that are going to attack it? It's the same DSS. We attack the facility and get away with the number. And when this thing will happen, whatever the Igbos want to do, let them do it. The plan has been assured and secured. Planned by Britain. Listen to me. He said the, the plan is from Britain that plan to eliminate Namdekano with Nigeria. And they know that once that thing happens, they are fully ready to give their friends whatever they want. They are back with the Britain. Even America is behind this. So even America is behind this plan. From now to three weeks' time, Joe Biden knows the plan. British, British government knows the plan. But Boris Johnson is not aligned with that plan. They have to force Boris Johnson to resign. And Boris Johnson have resigned for the sake of this plan. Britain want to bring the main terrorist prime minister that will lead that war against us. Once Nam the Kano is eliminated. I know that some people will doubt this, uh, this information, but I'm giving you authentic information, whether you like it or not. Hear us clear. The young man said we should try now and begin to do it. Those who are in, uh, uh, what they call it, um, Twitter, it is time. Now is not time of gossip. It is a time to tweet. Let the government of the whole world know. Already they have no the plans. But you have to alert them so that Nigeria will not say it's unaware. So my brother, as you hear this information, please share it. The agenda of Fulani, Sultan of Sokoto, Erofai, them, all of them. Lai Mohammed, all of them. They are in this plan. Even Atiku knows this plan. Only one person that will stop them in the agenda. Britain knows that Nam De Kano is another man that will stop them in this advancing Islamic agenda. Who are sponsoring of this Islamic agenda? It's Britain. Britain is the one with America. That was the reason why Trump was what? Pushed out from the seat. That was the reason why Pope say Trump is not a real Christian. But we are the people they are targeting. They want to make us a homeless people. If we fail to rise up now, we will all die. This is what this young man said. They have already died already. They, because he's an awesome man. He's an awesome man that gave me this information. They have signed their own dead warrant. So all their hope is from the East to stand. So that they will stand behind the east this is what this young man told me please share this information as you hear it 
God bless you. All help Biafra. Hello, great people. Hello, my great people. Great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, my great people all over the world. Great Biafras, wake up. Wake up, great Biafras. Wake up, great, Bia great people of Biafra. We must wake up. We must condemn the atrocity of Fulani Alamajuri. Now you have listened. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazen Namdekano, where we always set the record straight. Margaret people, I still remember Mazen Okenna, Okechuku, known as the Biafran child in Wachineke, the general. Bad news. And I warn every indigenous people of Biafra to wake up. If anything ever happened to Mazen Namdekano, if anything ever happened to Mazen Namdekano, you have listened to what the guy said. They are planning to attack DSS dungeon. They are trying to attack DSS. And they are planning to assassinate our leader, Mazen Namdekano. But we are promising them. We are promising them. I am calling on the leaders of indigenous people. I am calling the governors. I am calling the representatives. I am calling whosoever he may consign to listen to this voice and begin to rise. Rise this time because we are giving. This is not a threat. This is not a threat. But it's something that we must. We must. With that, see. I am telling you honestly speaking, we are warning all of you, we are warning every one of you that you are conniving. We are saying it simple and short. I want you people to pay attention to this. It's very, very important. I am feeling bad the way you see me right now. I couldn't even speak. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. But I am telling the whole representative of Biafran people, I am telling the whole Igwes and the Aces and House of Rep, those of you that you come from Biafra land, if anything ever happened to Mazen Namdekano, if anything ever happened to this man, if anything ever happened to Mazen Namdekano, believe you me, Biafra can never contain all of us. I am, I swear to all my teacher, this is not a threat. I want the people of Biafra to rise up. I want them to rise up. They should transfer our leader Mazen Namdekano right now to Biafra land. Because if anything ever happened, it, it does not matter. It does not matter where your kids, your relatives reside. That is when you people will begin to understand what we are talking about. That is the time that you people will begin to understand that on this quest of self-determination, nobody is safe. If you people can connive with the full army to assassinate only in Dumasin Namdekano, all of you are jokers. But we are warning you people, if anything ever happened to Onyindu, if anything ever happened to Mazen Namdekano, with all this plan, all of you people are gathering to plan to assassinate him, and you are thinking that it will be easy. All of you, being you governors, if you think you can hide, none of you, listen to me. We are not going to tell you people what we will do, but when time comes, all of you will begin to understand that all those things that we said, our leader said, any day we don't find him, that is when we will tell you people what we made of. We are not joking. It's not a threat. But it's a task that we must accomplish. It's a task we must accomplish. That is why I'm calling the great people, the freedom fighters, the lovers of freedom, to wake up, to wake up, to wake up, to wake up. We can never afford this. We cannot. And nobody born of a woman, nobody born of a woman in Biafra land. That is when you people will see that the Biafra land must turn to Somalia. We don't lie about what we are saying. We are giving a warning. We are telling you people, those of you that are conniving, both with the British people, both with the American people, anybody in a concern with Fulani, we cannot. None of you, none of you, none of you, none of you. I am saying this. I'm not going to say a lot of things, but I'm just telling the great people to wake up. To wake up and support this, to wake up, to circulate this news. 
so that our people will begin to wake up. This is the time. They can never do anything to our leader. But if they try it, then they will begin to understand that they are ready for us. This is what I have to tell you people. I want you to, to make sure that this video gets to people. I'm, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say anymore. I'm just getting, I don't, I'm not with my mind. But I want them to understand. We are also getting set. Make sure you get this video to everybody. Good day and welcome.